A teen is recovering after she was struck by a car on Milwaukee's north side. 17 year old Tastasia Turner is deaf and schizophrenic. She was hit three weeks ago near Crestwood and Silver Spring. Her mother telling us tonight it could have been prevented if she had access to mental health care. And I've been begging for help for my baby because I knew I told them she's going to hurt herself or somebody else. Well, after seeing our story, an advocate reached out to our reporter Kaylee Starl. She wanted to bring awareness to the special need for mental health resources for those in the death community. Days after that crash, a statewide program coordinator for mental health and substance use services for people that are deaf, hard of hearing or deaf blind reached out to me. So we headed here to Independence First. This organization is a resource for people with disabilities. That's where we met Denise Johnson, who is deaf. I spoke with her with the help of an interpreter. So when I look at Tastasia's story um, and that it actually was on the news, again, I felt like this was an opportunity. This is time to educate people in the community about the needs. That need is for the roughly 500,000 people across the state with some sort of hearing loss. She says the amount of mental health counselors who use American Sign Language as their first language just two. Those individuals are limited. There's only two in the state. She says the small number of counselors paired with strict licensing and expensive cost means many people who are deaf go without care. We should be preventing something like this from happening. You know, she should have been able to receive the mental health services that she needed prior to something horrible happening to her. For years, she's been working to get $2 million in the state budget for mental health care and substance use care for people who are deaf. And it has been vetoed twice. Mm -hmm. But the $1.9 million would help provide access to um, educational institutions, testing. With no luck, she's asking for the help of everyone. But I think it starts with um, our, our counterparts who can hear, mm -hmm. um, speaking up, advocating with us listening to what our needs are. Making care accessible for all. In Milwaukee, Kaylee Starrell, Team J4 News. And if you're interested in getting involved, Independent First has an advocacy team. You can call their number on the screen or you can learn more about them on our website at TMJ4.